What's going on guys, in today's video, how to overcome a day of overeating and a complete cheat day. So I'm gonna give you guys two different examples when it comes to overeating. First one is gonna be for you guys who slightly overate your daily calorie intake. Let's say by around 500 calories. This could be you forgot to add something in my fitness pal or you just underestimated how many calories are in something you realize later. First of all, because it's only 500 calories, it's actually quite easy to fix this and get yourself back on track. Because one important thing to remember, guys, is not one day that counts, it's your overall weekly calorie consumption that matters. One day isn't the end of the world. You can really fix it if you mess up in one day. And here's how to go about doing it. To fix a day of slightly overconsuming calories, you can either spend the next day just eating those 500 calories less or do it over two days. So split it in half, which would be 250 calories less over two days. I recommend reducing the calories from carbs and fats because you don't really want to do it from protein because protein's got so many different benefits. It's just got a thermic effect, meaning your body actually requires calories to burn digesting protein. It also helps in muscle building and recovery. And of course, it's very satiated, meaning you feel a lot more satisfied when you have it. Here's scenario two for you guys who've gone absolutely crazy and you just stuffed all the food down your throat and you've had a complete cheat day. So let's say you're an individual that consumes about 2,000 calories daily. Then you decide to have a cheat day and you consume double your calories. So that takes you to around 4,000 calories. So you're around a 2,000 calorie surplus. How do we make up for the fact that you've consumed 2,000 calories more than you should have? Before we actually speak about that, I want to tell you guys some of the things that you should avoid doing. First of all, you want to avoid starving yourself because last thing you want to do is create an unhealthy relationship with food and potentially cause yourself to create an eating disorder. Next step, you want to avoid doing excess amount of cardio because it's unnecessary. You just don't need to do excess amount of cardio. And finally, you want to avoid feeling guilty for yourself because you need to remember we're human. Sometimes you slip up and you just go crazy. This happens. And finally, understanding why. What caused you to have that cheat day? Is it because you're consuming too little calories, meaning that you're in a really large calorie deficit? Is the diet you're currently following not really sustainable and you're not enjoying the foods you're eating? Of course, are you being too overly restrictive with the foods you're eating, not really being flexible and having foods you actually enjoy in your diet? Once you can solve that, that'll really help you and stop you from having these cheat days. Anyways, here's how to recover from that cheat day. So like I said earlier, you typically consume 2,000 calories daily, but you've had a cheat day and you've consumed double the calories, meaning you're in about a 2,000 calorie surplus. So what you need to do is you're gonna take those 2,000 extra calories that you've had and divide it by a certain amount of days let's say for example seven days you're going to use to recover from that cheat day so you can take 2000 divided by seven that's going to give you a number you're going to use that number and over the next seven days you're going to reduce your calories by that specific number i think it works at around 285 calories so if you don't really want to eat less over the next seven days what you can do is increase your daily expenditure but the easiest way to recover from it is just by simply reducing your calories it doesn't require much effort and all you literally need to do is just eat less but really, we want to understand what caused you to have the cheat day in the first place and avoid it happening. Because we want to avoid creating these unhealthy habits with food and continuously needing to make up for the fact that you're continuously having these cheat days. Remember, being flexible with your diet is really important and actually enjoying the foods that you're eating daily. I hope this video has been really helpful and can help you guys who potentially slightly overeat or who've had a complete cheat day. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, like your comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.